sedition, also facing a, a, a deportation order right now as well. And what's the basis of the deportation order that you've been told about? No basis at all. They, so they, they, haven't, they haven't given any reasoning. And Chris Musilis, Christopher Hughes, is in Trinidad today heading to court. He's facing a number of charges. He's facing deportation, even though he is there to answer charges. He was charged with sedition. He was charged with money laundering. However, no evidence have been produced to support these charges, according to Hughes. He also stated in an interview on Power 102 that his brand is being damaged. His views are down. He's losing business because he travels and work at the same time. I don't want to see myself in, in the news every day. So it's like, I get nothing from this and it's the opposite. I can't film, you know, when, when I'm in other countries, I'm filming 30 videos in 30 days here. I don't have that ability. So I'm, I'm viewership is completely. So do you think this whole situation has damaged your brand? 100%. It's not think like everything is factual. So if you, if you were to look at my summary of just very basic statistics over the last three years, and you were to compare that to the last three months, these have been my last, like the worst three months I've ever had not even close so i it's not even about what i think it's it's actual and factual it has made a huge impact and my inability to travel I'm, i can't leave i'm stuck i can't go i can't go to work in a different country i can't move around so, so what's going on in trinidad guys is this corruption is this the usual manner of business you gotta let me know in the comment section below he says all his equipment has been seized twice and has not been returned. Lawyers applied to get them back. However, they have not been returned as yet. Chris says he's planning to sue the state. What is your intention to sue the state for? For everything. For not only the troubles that they're putting me through, the freedoms that they've taken from me. Uh, I'm guilty by association. You're throwing charges at me of money laundering with zero evidence because I did not commit money laundering. And I am a 46 year old man that hopes to live to 120. So for the, for the longevity of my life, I will have gang affiliated charges. I will have money laundering next to my name when you Google it. Okay. It is the association to a crime that I did not commit, nor was there ever any evidence of me committing. And I'll say the same with every charge that I've been thrown at here in Trinidad. Their, their attempt to tarnish my name is something I will have to live with far long after the sedition charge craziness. So will that impede my opportunity to get a mortgage on a house? Most definitely. Will there be times where I try to visit a new country and they search my name and they see this? Most definitely. My job is to travel and Trinidad is doing everything in their power as a whole to keep me away from my job and making a living for my family. So when asked, would I, uh, um, did I initially come to Trinidad to get rich off suing the government? Don't be ridiculous, right? But time after time, you've said I've been detained twice. I've been detained more than twice on, on at least eight to 10 different charges. So I'm obviously being harassed. I'm being targeted all because somebody did not like one of my videos. Guys, you got to let me know what's happening in Trinidad. I'm not sure what's going on. This seemed to be a big issue in Trinidad. And we need to get answers for Chris must list. Leave your comments in the comments section below. This is huge. This is really.